Hello, I am getting ready for a live and wanted to share with you that we have a special offering. Okay, 10, 50, 20. This is good through November 6th. So whenever you purchase anything I share with you, um, if you spend $50 or more, you get 20% off. So Wanted to share that. And we're going to do a fun painting today. It's going to be a Christmas painting. I'm going to try to teach you some technique and skill. And I'm, I'm just um, excited for some of you guys to come on or all of you guys to come on. We have North Carolina, a couple North Carolina girls and some California girls. <laughs> and hello, Miss Lee and Gail. Gail's from California. Um, so, and... Let's see, we got Joan. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you for saying I'm beautiful. Um, we've been engrossed in having a baby, so who knows? Um, I am saying busy, busy, so that I don't go crazy waiting for this baby. All right. Hello, guys. It's good to have all you here. Nice to see you again from Connecticut and Pennsylvania and the UK. Woo! It's nice to have you on. I don't know if you guys realize San Francisco Bay Area. Okay. I had a whole week. Did y'all miss me? <laughs> and then we've got Texas. Thank you for being on again, Gilbert. I just want you to know that I had a full week at the paint company. And the paint company makes videos and brushes and tools and all my fun stuff. And so I like to... Um, come on, we got New Jersey and Tennessee, and I, I I missed you guys, so I tried to post as many of the lessons and things I was doing. Hello, Jan. As many, Teresa from California, I know that. Um, as much as I could post, um, I tried, and so I have them on our Facebook group. If you're new out there and you want to see what's going on on the Facebook group, it's Donna Dewberry's with an S, official one stroke group. And I so want so many of you are trying to join and you don't answer any questions. So we have to decline you. So um, we have to make sure you're not a robot. We have to make sure that you understand it's only one stroke painting that we're showing here. And people love that because they're trying to find out what's going on. All right. Uh, you definitely miss me. Good. <laughs> My husband said, that's not nice to say. When I said, did you miss me? I, you better miss me because I missed you. So I missed being able to talk to you guys and see how you're doing. I have had a few letters. Um, I'm a little just trying to make sure, uh, but nothing like having you live. Thank you. So I just want you to know um, some people said they don't like my lives because I'm doing commercials, but I'm also doing a hand painted piece. So don't do anything and don't talk to these people. I don't care who's watching you. I don't care where they're coming from. I don't care. It's like, Mr. Rogers, would you please stop? So I just want you to know that I won't stop because live's about talking to you guys. And live is about um, uh, my bestie missed you so much. I hope you miss me, Miss Shelley, <laughs> because I was going crazy not talking to you. Um, but I just want you to know that some people um, don't understand everything on my site, my Wednesday relax and paint, my Friday uh, practice strokes, all that's free with no, without me saying hi to my friends and newbies and without me selling stuff. So I just want you to know that's what it's all about here is I am giving you super deals. So you guys love this 20% off so much that I, I told Mark, please let me do it again. Um, ever since you found you 28 years ago. Woohoo, Gina. Thank you. So 10, 50, 20 on the onestroke.com site, not on YouTube Live. I mean, not on Facebook Live, but on our website only, but everything that's on there, you can get 20% off if you spend $50 or more. So when you go to check out, you put in 10, 20, 10, 50, 20. So it's the 10th month. It's $50 or more and there's 20% off. So is that wonderful? 
built personal relationship. I know that's how we build relationships. I know TikTok's not great either because it's China and all kinds of things aren't great because they're this or they're that. Um, uh, been with you for 20 years. Oh, you're going to make me cry, Pat. That's awesome. I'm so thrilled um, that I have so many painting friends all around the world. And it's really awesome. So thanks for being on. Don't go away. I'm going to start painting. Um, I found you. Yes. <laughs> You're backwards. I'm backwards right now. Yeah. So is this backwards? I thought I had this. Oh, yeah, it's backwards. Dang. <laughs> I did flip it. I guess I should have left it. Okay. So now it's right, right? Now it's right. There you go. Now it's right, right, Michelle? Tell me, tell me. It should be right now. But then when I flip it down, I'll say something else, okay? So let me say it again. 10, 50, 20, onestroke.com. You get 20% off of $50 or more purchase. And this is good till November 6th, which is my birthday. And so then we'll see. Okay, I want to show you two things. This Wednesday, uh, this Friday, I want to get more people watching again my practice strokes. For some reason, that's not as high as it used to be. So on practice strokes, I give you homework to do for the week to build your skills for one stroke painting. So what I thought I'd do for a little bit is to give stem flowers. And this is on practice strokes Friday at noon. They pop up. OK, so here's this Friday's. OK, so I do have to paint it again because I didn't record it, Michelle. <laughs> I looked up and went, no. <laughs> so I'm going to do it again on another color paper so that we have two different colors. Flip your camera. I need it backwards. <laughs> OK, Tandy, you probably are a lefty, right? <laughs> All right. So then this is Wednesday and Wednesday is see the snow and the evergreen, what this is, is I want you to see, oh, the, thank you, that this could be a poinsettia red, and these could be white blossoms, but I want you to see that it could be a magnolia, it could be a lot of things, but I'm doing different sprays for the holidays, and today I'm painting a Christmas gnome, so I want you to see what's going on, so don't leave. And I want you to know that I have all kinds of wonderful things that are coming up for the um, the seasons that we are in. This is going to be November's class um, on One Stroke Advantage on the premier class. And I'm going to show you with our stencil or book stencil, we are going to do all of this building of these books. And it happens really quick with this uh, book stencil. So I just want to share a little thing with you. I have so many people that buy one stencil. We put it in a, a like a hard bound, a nice envelope. But you're almost paying as much for the one stencil as you are the shipping. So this is what I'm sharing with you. Buy anything, a packet, a couple of stencils, your friends and you get together and each buy a stencil together. And then what happens? Um, thank you, Amani. Then what happens is that it's then it's just minute what the shipping costs you instead of making it a bad purchase. I don't want it to be a bad purchase, even if you just throw it in with another order. But um, if you get three or more you're doing a better deal. So I just like to share that with you because it's really important that you don't make mistakes with that. I also want you to see that on Patreon, I, I did the um, pumpkins, the table full of grateful fruits and all this last month. And I also did this jar lesson. So this is what I want you to see about my jar stencil. All the stencils are back in stock for Michelle and I. Michelle has boats and lighthouses and all kinds of some holiday stuff, all kinds of fun uh, stencils that she's been coming up with that um, are going to be on there too. Oh, 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 I almost put this in it. So look, I took this round one and made a snow globe. I also, uh, besides doing these different surfaces, um, different shelves full of glass bottles, I have at least five or six 
teaching guys that have, have shelves with all kinds of bottles. And so these bottles, what's wonderful is that you can do the top of the mason jar and then slide it up and do the bottom of the mason jar and make it a tall mason jar. You can make a wider mason jar with the same stencil. Where can I see all your tutorials and items to purchase? And where you see those guys are at onestroke.com. All right, right here, onestroke.com. So everything that I'm showing you and that I that I share with you during our um, world of painting here um, can be purchased along with lots of live lessons. I mean, not recorded lessons. And all our education, if you'd like to become a teacher, if you want to know more about where I'm going to be, what we're going to be doing live in person, um, this is another piece from our convention. And I used chalk paint on it. It was a vintage look. But I want you to see, this is my Paris stencil. We sold out three times in the last month. And so it's just lots of fun uh, backgrounds. And so I want you to see on this one, instead of doing a brown chalk in the back and a teal chalk on top, and we have the best chalk paint because when you sand our chalk paint, it comes off in chalk powder, not gummy. So that makes it really wonderful. All right. So then I want you to see that I took a chippy block and just a little block of, of wood, dipped it in the brown, and I sputtered it around the edges so I didn't have to sand it. It just looks distressed. Isn't that cool? So I did, on the last live before I left last week, I did another one using this, but I've used this on plain black and put roses in different colors. It's so pretty. All right. So other thing I just want to make sure that you know, for all seasons, the big 12 by 12 buffalo, and we have a long, slender six and a half by six buffalo plaid. And those plaids work for Halloween, Thanksgiving, Easter, and of course, lots of Christmas. All right. Scrapbooking binder to store my stencils. Yes, a 12 by 12 scrapbooking binder. And I also get the 12 by 12. Um, they're a little bit bigger than 12 by 12 plastic. Um, for holding scrapbooking paper and all of these fit inside. All right, so we've got the script that I love to put behind. We have Joy to the World. Michelle did her um, project for Christmas last year at convention with that Joy. This dove is beautiful. So you can do two doves. You can hold, they can be holding Christmas garland. We've got Merry Christmas, super, super ones you don't want to miss out on. Uh, Shelly, I'm thinking of, storing the long ones on a hook. Oh, that's nice. Well, Timu punches a hole in all of them and you put a silver ring that clumps shut and they could just hang. All right, so I wanna show you this one. Um, this guy is really fun. We have this music six and a half, 16 and a half by six. And, and you just stencil the, um, a gray faded look for the music. That's a long stencil. And then here's my stencil. You literally stencil that on. And then it shows you every place for the cheeks, the tummies, the feathers, everything right there. That's one of our convention pieces. So this also, I use the small two birds together on a pocket of my shirt. I just save the envelope they slipped in. Yeah, the envelope that they're in, that hard, nice envelope, Mark bought those because he wanted to make sure that the stencils were in good shape, okay? But what Michelle and I did on this, we made them larger too, so that you could just do a painting with just the two birds or, or each single bird, all right? All over prints, lots more, and... Then these are the best sellers. Just want you to know, besides Michelle and mine, the best sellers are this all over print. So I got the small ones, six by six, 12 by 12. Don't miss out. Just the stencils alone will make you a happy painter. <laughs> all right. The bird stencil is amazing with details and so many applications for the bird settings. All right. A 12 by 12 buffalo plaid. Can't find it. It should be on my website. And under, under um, this 12 by 12, Michelle, I'll let you know, I'm sure. I wish you could come up with some sort of reasonable, what foam plate? Can't even order them and ship it in California. I know. 
So that can you use paper? I don't know. The double loader works well when we go to other countries because they don't have plates either. All right. This be kind. I just want you to know my bumblebee. I took these at Penner's when I taught at Penner's where they had thousands of people. I took this in the backgrounds and I've used blue and white in the back of sunflowers. I think you guys saw that. Uh, the It was out of stock. What was out of stock? All this stuff, we, we've got everything almost back in, but the A to Z and the, those are coming. All right. So this bumblebee, all of these I have back in stock. I just got the last shipment Saturday when I arrived. But be kind with the bumblebees. And so I'm going to show you this and then I'm going to paint. Okay. So this is, where am I at? Oh, here. I used some of the bees on here. Okay and some of the writing from the bees and then this uh, this wreath is my leaf stencil so what it does is you stencil this and you don't have to paint leaves but it's all ready for you to paint all the leaves all right and so i use that wreath for christmas and christmas ornaments we spread it out on a 20 by 20 pillow and make it bigger there you go. All right. So I showed you a whole bunch of stuff. So now we're going to start painting because guess what we've got back in stock? Oh my goodness. What we've got back in stock is we have, there's a special that I'm doing today. So um, for all those who are haters of me selling, I'm sorry, but I'll give you a reward. If you stay on and watch that I'm painting with you, um, we got brush plus for cleaning our brushes and we have big floating mediums for you too. They're all in stock. So um, this is a live, which is different than all the ones I do every week for you guys for free. Okay. You can use wax paper um, as a palette. That's true. All right, but what I use as a palette, just want to show you guys my tools. This is a double loader. You put your, this cap comes off and you put floating medium in here. We have gone through cases and cases of this for all you YouTubers that are just coming on. We, this is what solves your double loading problems, okay? I'm going to show you how we use this, but also it has a lid. And this stores your paint. So after you squeeze your paint, you don't use it all up. You can use it two weeks from now and it's still fresh. I like to see what you have to offer to us. I know I like to share. Okay. So you dampen this and see the air holes. You put this in here and put a copper penny so it doesn't mold if it goes long weeks. You clip that on and then you clip this on here. Now this also fits inside your double loader, but you can't have the lid on it when it's inside here. Okay. So you just take it out of here and you can put a paper or foam and I just spill floating medium again on me. Okay. All right. So, um, and the other tool we have besides the palette there again, I spilled it again. What is wrong with me? I usually don't put this in there. Sorry. And then I have our big basin and that rakes the paint really good when you have big brushes, which we use a lot of big brushes. All right. So today I am going to flip this and paint and I'm going to show you my mop brushes are back in stock. Our rake brushes have been back in stock. The new baby ones for doing beards and fur and um, all kinds of grass for little. I've always wanted little. I've got my big ones in my set. All right. So this is the large ones for my sets. And see, these are smaller. And this is smaller than that. So that's like some of this gnome hair and all. It helps that happen. So these mop brushes, these are synthetic nylon. And they use them different than any mop brushes I've seen before. We, we're going to move them with medium and move them with water. Can somebody ship the styrofoam plates to you? That's a good idea. Um, I know that plaid can't ship any aerosols or anything to you guys either. All right. So I want you to see also what's in stock is my stencil brushes. So I'm hoping the stencil something in this background to get y'all excited, but the stencil brushes, I, and I, uh, my buddy Paula McCoy did these for me, a size 20, a size 16 and a size 12, 14. 
And I said 12 earlier today, but these are synthetic nylon, the best stencil brushes I've ever tried. And they're not those stiff, rough looking ones. These um, look really better when you use Brush Plus, but I use them so much. <laughs> so I just want y'all to share that. And we are using today, just for you to know, we are using uh, multi-surface paint. And this folk art multi-surface, that's who I work with. And they roll with the best paint product that you can ever imagine. All right. And then I always use floating medium. Eight ounce floating mediums are the best because we don't use water. We use floating medium. Okay. So let's get started. And I'm going to flip this so that we can paint. And please ask me questions. I'm ready to answer any questions that you want. If you didn't see what specials I was showing you, please go back and rewatch from the beginning. So I'm going to have to switch this downward. And then we are going to, let me get it straight and flip. I'm upside down. So give me a minute. All right. And I'll flip us around. And then one little other task. Yeah, am I straight? Can you read this? Is this good? Hello, Joan. Uh, especially, hello, hello. You can buy paper plates that are waxed. Yes, and they work great. That's right. I'm backwards. Okay. So that means I'm going to be left-handed, and some people like that, and some people don't. <laughs> All right. So there we go. I should be right now. And... Is this my right hand? <laughs> uh, I'm not straight. Perfect. Okay, thank you. All right, so this is our special. Don't forget, uh, if you just came on, about 35 people just came on. I want you to know this is onestore.com, my website, to get all my supplies, everything you want. There's 72 bottles of paint, special deal, 72 bottles of paint. Go look that up. It's a great deal. And then you're going to get 20% off of that. So 10 for November, uh, October, 10, 50, 20. And this is good till um, November 6th, my birthday. Woohoo! So onestore.com, save 20% on $50 or more. Okay. Orders. So what you do is you pick all that you want. You go to the checkout and you put this code in and it should take care of you. All right. One stroke slash product slash TCW 12. That must be the Buffalo plaid 12 by 12. All right. So I told you Michelle's good. All right. So this is what I want to do. I want to do some trees back here. So I'm going to pick out my gnome and this is what's going to happen. Here is his beard. Okay. So let's do a little beard for the gnome. And he has cute little legs. All right. He's going to be a Christmas gnome. Okay. So I have all kinds of drawing and design classes to teach y'all how to draw. So you can create your own floral designs, your own designs of any kind. And so I'm not teaching you just to draw. It's how to design and draw and you can learn to teach people how to do that so i have lots of good things for you if you want to become a teacher want to learn more all right i'm going to make his nose a little bit bigger okay so let's go bigger okay and let's take his hat his hat comes across here okay here's the band and here's the cat. I mean, the band there on it. So let's take the cap and let's make it come around. And let's come here. There. And we have a pom pom. And we are going to put this all red and then we're going to come back and put some pretty stuff on top of it. Okay. So what I want to share with you is what I'm going to do with the background. So I'm going to come up higher and then this is what we're going to do. I don't know about you. I've done a ton of pumpkins last week. Pumpkin me out. So I thought I'm going to do some fun that's a little bit different. Okay. So I'm going to take my mop brush and the first brush I'm going to use, I'm going to take I can get some medium because there's lots of medium in there. I'm going to take some greens with this mop brush. Okay. So I'm going to start up here 
and then I'm going to come down like this. And this is going to be um, very muted. Okay. And this is just in the background. All back here. And so I am going to fill this all in here. Okay. Okay. And then we have more snow down here. But this is way in the background, okay? So we I put medium and then work this in. Okay. I've got some cute little gnome that we're going to paint here. Then I'm going to come up here. And you can also use Michelle's trees. She has all these tons of different trees on one stencil. And we have that right on our site for sale. And I couldn't grab it before I started. I wasn't sure where it was. So here we are. I will have to demonstrate it again sometime. So, all right. So I want some of these separated. So let's see. Let's go way over here. And we have it off the top. So it's a forest in the back, right? So this is just to give you, you're going to see, I'm going to put a glaze over this so this doesn't stand out. It's just kind of in the background. This is a smaller mop brush, and then I'm going to do a glaze with the larger mop brush. Okay, so look, we're going to have a, a taller one right here. Okay, so let's just do a little bit, and that's darker. All right, a little bit darker. So the floating medium makes it look kind of watercolory. But see, that's it makes that a little bit darker. All right. And now I'm going to hit this with a blow dryer. So we have lots of painting we're going to show you guys to make this really fun. Some things that you might not have known that you can do with one stroke painting. All right. So that's my mop brush. That's the smaller one. All right. Let's hit it with a blow dryer. Also have a new paint, um, a point, a heat pen from Plaid that's brand new. That I'm going to be selling those, and you can get 20% off those. And I have it. I'm going to have to demo it some other time because I don't have it in my hands. Okay. Um, so then, this is what I want to share with you. I want a glaze in here. So to do the glaze, we're going to wet this mop this is the large mop it's a super amazing natural hair mop all right so whenever i use my mop i was just making really lightly touching and making the leaves the color in the leaves spread like on the big painting behind me well these mops we can do all kinds of wonderful backgrounds and all kinds of clouds and sky and all right so let me show you what's going to happen I'm going to glaze over this because we want some blue in the background and we want to see a little bit of those trees, but I want the evergreen and everything that has to do with the gnomes to pop. Okay, so look at this. We can have it in a snowstorm even, but what I'm doing is I'm putting this on this mop just gives you a really nice finish very quick right over your painting and i do like i will paint evergreens um that have fog or mist in the mornings i did one uh, in tennessee and it was you had to make every tree different lightnesses 
And it was just so much work. And I thought, I've got to figure out something. So I started doing a fog glaze on all of my misty areas I needed, just like this with floating medium. You get more of a watercolor effect. Now see how quick that is. And so that sets these trees in the very background. So if you were doing some in the background and then you wanted to layer some great ones in front, that's what you would do is you can now come in here and do re -de real detailed trees in front, okay? So is that fun so far? All right, we lost some people, but we're going to grow it again. So here we go. We're going to come in here and have a fun little project. Um, we're going to come back later and put some snow in here on the bottom and see how I'm just putting a little bit now to get where my everything's going to be. Okay, there you go. Now you can also do some white cloud effects back here with the mop. I did on here before, I did a beachy scene and the whole beach scene, but I used the mop to make it happen. Okay, so we can also flick some snow back here. So I'm going to wash that and I'm going to, you're going to see me um, blow dry this again. And the heat gun's very quiet so I could talk still while it's going, but this isn't. So I'm, you can see me where I'm going to get my rake brush and we'll make some snow. <laughs> So before I start, now look how good. You want to make sure that you clean the mops by pushing the water out with the color out. And be sure that the stencil brushes and mops that you use your brush plus not dish soap because it won't loosen the glue. Okay. Okay. So what I want to do first is I'm going to take my set of brushes. There's two colors I want to get in here first thing, all right? I'm going to get some of the gray, and I'm going to do the beard. And we're going to use the rake brushes to get all of the hair in here. But right now, I'm going to take and get some gray in here so I can use some medium to make it move. Medium makes it move and feel like butter. Okay. So then we're going to put his hair, really cool hair, a nutcracker. The nutcracker is just, I think you can do the teeth with fur on it and do the whole body. But I don't know. We have to take that one out, huh? All right. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to think about the colors that I want in here. But I did put some blue right in here. Okay. This is skyline blue. So it's really pretty. Another new color I use is daybreak, which is this gorgeous uh, soft muted yellow that I have been using and love it. Okay, so I want you to see that I am going to put white in two places. So white's going to go right here across the head. Lee, you should be teaching some people some fun things with these gnomes. <laughs> She's the key expert on gnomes. All right, there we go. Our one stroke expert. All right, then I'm going to put the legs pure white in here. And I'm going to make them striped. Okay. And then what I want to do, I'm going to make some more here. All right, now I'm going to wash this brush. I'm going to show you how quick this happens. Design.com. Design.com. 
or unfinished wood. Um, unfinished wood, our website's going to open up at the end of October. Okay, so look, we're going to come right around unless you know something I don't know, Miss Michelle. Okay, so this is apple red. So we use wicker white, skyline, apple red. We've used citrus and sap on the trees. All right, there's some fun decorating I'm going to do on this hat. Okay, so you can see my pencil drawing showed right through. Now, I use chalk sometimes if I'm doing all the drawing on top. Let's make this come down a little bit more. All right, and so I don't want white in here because it's going to take away from what I'm painting. Okay, how fast is this so far? Uh, Michelle posted her brushes, mops, and stencils. Some may want them. Okay, so we're going to put it right along here. Okay. There we go. All right. So now I can make red gloves or black gloves. I do make um, black boots. Let's see if... Now this is one that I just dumped. Look, it flipped upside down. I have a grandbaby being born right now. So I, we're waiting patiently. So I decided I'm going on and painting today. <laughs> so I knocked it over with a, a few phone calls worrying about if the baby was here yet. So, but you might hear me screaming if that happens. Okay. So we got black boots. Okay, we can lace those boots and we can have fun striped pants. And there's all kinds of fun Christmas elf shoes you can put on here. I'm just going with the black gloves and black boots. Okay, now while some of this is drying so I can come back and do the fun design, I am going to be painting holly for you. Holly and berries, but all of this, I don't like to base coat. I like to just paint, and I have to base coat this first. Sorry. It's part of the deal. And um, so whenever I can have somebody else base coat for me, I sure do. <laughs> uh, and I wouldn't ask Michelle to do that. I have her too busy. <laughs> she said, I, I have to base coat my own stuff, Donna. Okay, so there we go. I use this with a scruffy, but I went ahead and put that to base coat it. All right, so now what's going to happen is before I go and add all my holly, I'm going to come in here and put some snow, <clears throat> snow around here. <clears throat> Okay, and see, I can take some little bit of licorice there. See that? Okay, I'm going to get some more snow in here. This is with a smaller mop brush. What's good is that it just moves for you. Okay, and a little bit of heavier blue. There you go. And I, sometimes I use even a deeper blue, but that's okay. Let's see, that makes the snow really show. All right. Now, let's make some holly. All right. <clears throat> I would like to use my 16, which you have to buy this brush separately, guys. Um, it comes in the signature set. But in this set, um, you have to buy it separately. Now, what I want to share with you that I showed earlier is just before they sell out, I want you guys to know that these guys are in stock, really good in stock. These are my value pack 10 most used brushes. All right. This is my signature set. So I'm just letting you know, heads up, if you want this for Christmas, for yourself or you want this for Christmas for somebody else as a gift because they're, they're perfect gift giving products. Um, 
We like it as um, a set, but we want you to know that these, we have now ordered all that Plaid has until December. So you won't get it for Christmas if you want to. Um, first great grandbaby. Yeah. So what I want you to see is this is my 13 brushes that I use. I have the scruffy brushes. I have all three sizes. I have all these flats and the floral ones are signature brushes that are especially like the fan, the rake and three different quarter, half and three quarter natural hair scruffies that I created. Those are my originals. Um, then they're not in the industry until I brought them in. Okay. This is a round, an angle a filbert and the two script liner. So all of these um, are, you can get that 20% off guys. And if you want any of them and you think you might want it for Christmas or you might be running out, the years are getting worn. I just want you to know you need to buy it now if you want it. We have some on hand, but Mark just ordered the last 36 or whatever they had until December. So I just wanted heads up. Perfect time. You get 20% off. So be sure that you get that. We also got these rolling rulers all back in and those roll. So you do your straight lines and come across with your barns and houses and um, just like borders, any of that. This is what you want to have the rolling ruler. And I also have these silicone mats that are big enough to cover my whole desk. Those are all back in stock. Just to let you know, I'm trying to give you some good ideas, okay? I can't handle the glare, so let's get rid of the glare. Okay, so let's do some holly. All right, sap and citrus. Now, if you are wanting to learn how to do this and learn how to double load, I'm sorry, but I've been using this a lot. Uh, today. I'm going to come in here and you don't have to do 50-50. You can do more of the sap and less of the citrus. But look, you're going to push hard back and forth, back and forth. So all you newbies, I want you to know you lay it on the paper towel and to get the water out and then you go load it. So dip, dip, work it in. Okay. Now every once in a while, I want to go tip a little bit of white and on the citrus edge. And then if you want it to go really nice and smooth, you could get a teeny bit of medium. And then it feels like butter when you're painting with it. Okay. No mops. Oops. Oh, we have mops. So I don't know. Okay. So let's do this right here. The first one, let's come way up here and we're going to go point, 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 point. Okay, now what happens is this is also how you can do your poinsettia leaves, okay, and poinsettia petals, all right? So I'm going to come out here, and it's really sharp points, all right? So you can break this into two strokes. So I could come down here and do one more where I'm doing the left side, point, point. Then I can turn this around. So it's okay when people say, can I, can I move it? Yes, look, point, point, point down. All right, so look how simple it is to make that happen. Signature set is fabulous. Thank you, thank you guys. All right, so I'm flattening the brush. I pick up more paint. I don't need um, medium very much unless is getting dry okay so look how bright and pretty those are going to be hi barb from michigan hello hello all right so i'm going to come here and i can do some smaller ones okay point 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 now i do like some that are smaller so see how you're getting that nice point. You make those holly leaves look so easy. They take practice. So what I'm trying to show you is here, there's a couple of little tricks to make it really easy. So here we go. So I'm going to go and do a railroad track. Okay. So this is how people said it helped them. So I'm going to slide to here and then I'm going to come in and up to a point 
up to a point and to the top. Okay. Lots of practice. <laughs> All right, here we go. Point, point, point. And so all we're doing, guys, is we're doing a scallop out here. All right. So you can make those points super dramatic. Some people do. Or I'm going to get some medium again. Or you can make them, uh, look at this. We could just go like this and just wiggle it. All right. If the points just do too much for you, it just isn't your thing. I can just wiggle it just like that. And as long as the screen and it's here, you're going to get that feeling that it is holly or evergreen. All right. Now, what's fun is this is going to be a holly tree that's going to come right in here. I've got one of these actually in my yard. Um, but I haven't ever seen it have red berries. All right, so look at this. We're going to up and come swooping way down, swooping way down. Oops. But what's beautiful is saying that looks really ugly. So the beautiful thing about one stroke painting is if you don't like something, we don't wipe it off. We just pick up more paint and stroke it. But this is bigger than it's supposed to be. So because my uh, beautiful, wonderful folk art multi-surface paint has a sealer in it, you can just wipe it off. Do you see that? Woohoo! We got Melva. Hello. She is on a one-stroke advantage. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. You guys have grown my membership, and I'm so blessed. Thank you. Come try and just check out One Stroke Advantage. I mean, um, Patreon. If any of you guys want to talk business or want to learn from Mark and I and our experience over the years, how to succeed in this painting world, um, it's nice to have you. Thanks for welcoming Melba, that's awesome. All right, so. All right, so I have a few of these that I can come out here and add a little citrus on the outside. Okay, and we can pull that. Oops. We can pull that out a little bit and get a different look. I'm going to come in here. We're going to have a stem out here. And we're going to have one up here. We have one down here. See how I'm just laying it out. And we also want to put a small one on here. So I don't want to cover that up so we don't see it. So let's get some pretty holly across here. So while we're doing this, everything is drawing, right? So that we can come through here. We're going to put berries all on here and more. All right. All right. So we are point, point, point. Okay. All the way around. So remember, I'm going to turn it upside down. It makes it easier. Now, remember, I just did holly, but you can do pine needles. You can move other greenery in here. Okay. But so this is just like a fun spray that you can do. Like he's standing next to a holly tree. And there we go. Now this does take practice. So this one I'm saying. By the time you get doing uh, doing a bunch of holly, I love to put holly on Santa caps and on on Christmas cards. Okay. 
Okay, so we fill this in. We're going to pick up some more medium. Just come right here. Point, scoop in, point, scoop back. The brush has to stay flat. And you're just coming up when you want to point. Okay, so I kind of got bigger as I went down to the bottom. And so we are going to come in here with some berries. All right, and we're going to put some holly berries with maybe even some snow on top of the evergreen. That's what I thought would look really pretty. Okay, so here we go. One thing that I want to do, I can do it before or after, so maybe we'll do it after, is I want to come in here with my two script liner. And before I go any further, I'm going to take my hat. And I know you can see through it some, but then we're going to shade it with berry wine. All right. So I'm going to take some inky. Let me do this over here. Okay. We're going to get water and make it inky. The, we don't use water except for cleaning our brushes and sometimes using liners or the mop brush, okay? So this is what's going to happen. We are going to come here, and i got to roll this because it's too full of paint. All right, so I'm going to go one, two, three. Oops, it's getting pink. So that means it's not quite dry. All right, then I'm going to go zigzag zigzag and do another one all right and then i'm going to come up here and do one see you're going to move with the wrinkles okay and then you're going to go zigzag zigzag okay and so we're going to come up here again so he's got a cute little winter cap. So it's inky, and I keep wiping it off just so it doesn't get pink on me. All right. So look, we're going to come again here. And see, we're going to do some wrinkles in here. And we do another one. All right. And... You can even get more detail. You can do those little reindeers that they knit into the sweater. Okay. And sometimes I put little dots at the ends of each one of those, but we don't need to. We're just going to keep coming in here. All right. All right, see how I'm wrapping it around it? Around. There we go. All right, so by the time we put some detail on that, that will be really cute. And then what I want to do is I'm going to do laces down here. So we're going to just go one, two, three. One, two, three. And then we do a little notch right there or a dot with the handle of the brush. Okay. And I'm not going to put the lace on right now. But what I am going to do is I'm going to put his pink on his nose. I'm going to do that last. All right. So let's go ahead and put some berries on so that they have a chance to dry. And... Where are they? Okay, so what we're doing is we're showing you how to paint a gnome very quick. We're doing um, using all kinds of one-stroke products that you can find on my site. So please watch over again. And 105020 on onestroke.com gives you 20% off anything that $50 or more that you purchase. So makes it a special, special deal. I'm going to put holly and all on here too. But I'm going to go into the red and I'm going to do these holly berries all there we're going to touch and twist all right get some berries oops oops there's something underneath my canvas 
All right, so I'm going to push it down and left. Okay, so sometimes I put a little bit of white on these when I'm doing it. One, two, touch, twist, 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 twist. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to hide that so I can use it again and not put it in the water yet. Okay, so what we're going to do is down in here, I'm going to pick up my rake brush and we are going to maybe start with some, I got to put water, dry it, start with some medium gray and then grab white. All right. So what's going to happen? See how this streaks it? All right. Well, what we have to do is build this from the bottom up, but I want you to see that we make him woolly woolly. Okay. So what we're going to do is on the chisel, I'm going to pick up and pull it down. And you can go flat with lots of paint. See that? It's not inky paint. It's thick paint right over the gray. And the gray gives it depth. And I use this on owls and on Santas and on little dogs, cats, raccoons. All right. So we're going to come all in there and get this nice gray effect. And then look, I can go up on the chisel and stand up on the chisel instead of being flat. Chisel, chisel, chisel. Okay. So... So we touch, look at this, push and pull, push, pull, which means pressure, 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 and then pull. And then you can pull these all in on top. So there's all kinds of beards. I made every single gnome beard different before. I do a Christmas tree. I have a packet for a Christmas tree and they're gnomes and they're all stacked on top of each other to make a tree. And every gnome beard was different. So it's kind of fun to see how you can make different ones. And there we go. So that was pretty quick. The way I'm doing the, um, let's use this half inch. Let's get some, whoop, I'm almost out of paint. I'm going to pounce this right in here. Okay, but look, I can then take my small rake brushes and I can come out and do little fluffy ones. Oops, there's red. Okay. There you go. All right. Makes it fuzzy. This is not going to be that fuzzy. All right. So now, guys, we are going to pick up. All right. We are going. What am I doing? Oh, the nose. We're going to take and make it a flesh colored nose. And. Usually I like to put some coffee latte. There we go. A little bit of coffee latte on both sides. And then I pick up a teeny bit of white. Look, and put a little white on the top of his nose. All right, so see, we got him. They are daubers, yes. Those little red berries are made with dollars. We have sets of those really easy on our site. Okay. So now what's going to happen with, let's find my 16. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. On a 16 and I'm out of white. So let's get some white. Are y'all liking it? Is it growing? <laughs> All right. So be sure that... You be smart about what you're purchasing. Make sure that you make the right decisions so that your shipping's the best price you can get. 
And don't just buy three bottles of paint. I'm telling you, you're going to pay too much for shipping. So try to buy um, other deals with that so that you're not paying a lot of money for them. That's Mark's job. He always tries to educate you so that you, he sits there and he goes, I wish we could call everybody and say, you sure you want to do this? <laughs> okay. All right. So you see, I'm side loading. Let me show you. Oops. I'm side loading right here. And I love gnomes. They're fun. And I have all kinds of designs of gnomes I've created. Garden gnomes and all, all and packets on my site. So go check those out if you like gnomes. And my gnome Christmas tree is my favorite. I don't know. I like my garden gnomes. I was out in my garden one day and I went, oh, those are the gnomes. So I have night gnomes and mushroom gnomes and all kinds of gnomes that go in the forest at night and collect good things okay so i'm going to make some stripes coming up on my shirt so he could, it could look like he's almost in pajamas i don't know all right so you can put furry on his um mitts if you want to would make a cute christmas card too so if you paint this you can go to your local drugstore and shrink it down and fit a card there and copy all your cards for the holidays with your own painting. And then when you get it, uh, you can also go in a printer and they'll print four on a sheet for you on really nice paper. But then you can use our extreme glitter or some of the other wonderful glitters we have that just you just stroke it. Oh, dragonfly glaze. You just coat the furry parts or the beers or the snow with all kinds of fun little um, add-ons. Okay. And that will make it more custom looking. All right. So I'm going to come right here. You can go on a paper plate or you can come right here on your double loader and that helps you keep it separate. Oops, oops, oops. So what I want to show you, I'm a mess today. I that you come right over here and you work it in. It could be that baby. I'm keeping myself busy till the baby comes. <laughs> my, my first great grandbaby. All right. So see the holly? So one, two, three. And then you pull a stem in the middle. All right. So let's come down a little lower so you can see it. All right. You think it's cute? I hope you do. I was so wanting to paint this. All right, so we're going to come along here and point, point, point. Okay, and then I'm going to take the handle of the brush or the daubers and do three berries. Okay, and you can even make this better by even adding a little white on the edges of the leaves. Because over here now, what has to happen is I have to, I'm going to, besides I have to, I'm going to pound some more white in here. Okay. All right. Now we still, have, when this dries, we get great shading that we're going to do on that. And I just like to share with you that you can come back and then do some more little fine line detail with these smaller rake brushes and put curls and like beards where I like to make them curve a little bit. You can also have some that come out some like Santa beards where they go out on the edges and that kind of fun. Look, out out wispy these are the small rakes that i created i got for me from miss paula and she made all these good sets for me to share with you guys
All right, so the last thing for him is I'm going to go ahead and I can do checkerboard or I can do stripe. So I'm going to come down here and do stripe. I should maybe go sideways, but I'm going to stripe down it. Okay. Oh, y'all can't see it. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Thanks for the hearts, guys. I appreciate it. Hello from Michigan. Hello, hello. So isn't he cute? And don't worry about everything being perfect, guys. Just have a good time while you're doing it, okay? All right, so... <laughs> I love him. You never know what they're going to look like until you start doing this, right? Every little detail you put on like that makes a difference. Like when I'm putting white in here, I do a little white. That has to be really thick or totally dry. All right. Do you change the time for one stroke advantage tonight? Oh, I got to go. Oh, my gosh. It's right now. Oh, my gosh. I got carried away. <laughs> Thank you, Pat. It's right now. One stroke advantage. Everybody, come on. I've got it all set and ready. There you go. I'm going to put some snow on it later, but for now, there we are. <laughs> I was putting some snow in here. All right. I'll pounce it really quick. Uh, right here. Just a little bit of snow. And thanks for being on tonight, this afternoon and tonight. Hope you learned something. Pick up some good stuff to make your painting go easier. And let's paint. There you go. I'm going to sign it, send pictures, and post it. All right? Love you guys. Bye-bye.